Hi, my name is Kevin Hamilton. I am a junior at Holy Cross. I'm a political science and Spanish double major with a concentration in peace and conflict studies, and I'm currently studying abroad in Granada, Spain. Granada, to me, is the best place to study because it's the perfect European city. It's safe, it's comfortable, it's absolutely beautiful, it's filled with history, um, and despite being a really international city, Granada retains the Spanish charm and the feeling of being in Andalusia, and it's also a really uh, excellent immersive language experience, so I've been really lucky that my own Spanish-speaking abilities have improved so much um, through this experience. So I'm really excited to take you along on a couple of days um, it, during my time here in Granada. So on Wednesday, I woke up, I got ready, I ate breakfast, which my host Abuela had prepared for me. And then after that, I headed off to the university. And along my walk, I passed through some of the main sites. I always look around at the buildings, at the fountains, and it's just a really special way to start off every day. And it's a reminder that I'm here. I'm in this amazing European city. And so finally, I arrive at the Center for Modern Languages at the University of Granada. It's where I have three out of four of my classes. It opens up into this main patio space with a beautiful fountain in the middle. And it's really a meeting place for me and all my friends and all of these people from all around the world who are studying in Granada. And so I started off my morning with my Spanish grammar class at 8.30. And it's helped me to review and, and learn some really challenging aspects of the Spanish language that uh, don't come as naturally to me as, as an English speaker. After that, I go to my 1030 political system of the European Union class, which as a political science major, it's just what I love living in the European Union simultaneously as, as I'm learning about it has just been so surreal. So after classes, I went home for lunch, and lunch is the main meal of the day, so I usually eat with the other members of my host family. So I have a host abuela, and her name is Casilda. She has lived in Granada her whole life. She's hosted students in our home for over 20 years. And we have another student who lives with us, and his name is Yuto, and he's actually from Japan. And so that has just been really, really cool, um, especially in terms of the language, because I only speak English and Spanish, she only speaks Japanese and Spanish, and Casilda really only speaks Spanish, and so we're forced to rely on the language every single day at home. And it's been so interesting learning about two very different countries, very different cultures, Spain and Japan. So well, after lunch, I went to meet my friend Immaculada, who is a girl who's studying to become an English teacher right at the University of Granada. Um, and so we have a language exchange. We get together about once a week for a little over an hour, and we just talk. So half of the conversation is in Spanish, and then half is in English. So I get to practice, and she gets to practice. And it's been so nice building that friendship and having somebody who's a student right in the city. And then after my meeting with Immaculada, I went to my Latin dance class, um, which is just so much fun. I'm doing it for my intercultural immersion project with some of my friends from Holy Cross. Um, and the group is generally older people from Granada. And so they have been so nice in welcoming the young American students as um, they refer to us. And uh, they have just been um, so much fun. And so after my dance class, I went home, I ate dinner with my host family again. That was that for my typical Wednesday. On Thursdays, I don't have any classes, so instead I grabbed my backpack and then I headed out into the city um, and I found a really nice cafe. I worked on a paper for my Spanish American Civilization and Culture class and then after that, I went to the University of Granada's Fine Arts Building because this semester I'm also taking an introduction to painting class which has been so much fun. I have had the opportunity to meet a ton of different students from Granada and from around Andalusia and so I've learned some new accents, I've learned some new phrases um, and they've just been really welcoming and open 
um, and been really great friends. And so I worked on a project um, for the class, so we've been doing some abstract painting. And then after that, I headed back home to finish out my evening. I packed up my stuff because on Friday, I headed off to Amsterdam, but before that, I went out with my friends for some churros and chocolate, and so we had a really nice end to the week before we headed off to see another beautiful city in Europe. And on Friday, I woke up really early because I was off to Amsterdam in the Netherlands for the weekend. Um, I traveled with a group of friends from Holy Cross who are studying abroad in Granada as well, um, and we just had the best time. Uh, one of the greatest things about studying abroad is the opportunity to visit so many different places, and especially uh, studying in Europe. The proximity to so many different countries and cultures and people, and I've felt very lucky to have been able to travel to so many different places throughout this semester. In Amsterdam, we had a really fun time. Um, we took an amazing canal tour through the city. Um, we visited the Anne Frank Museum, which was honestly one of the most moving experiences I have ever had. And we also took a day trip to Holland to see the famous windmills um, and explore a little village out there. And so we had a lot of fun doing that. And it was just a really great weekend. And that's all for me. So thank you so much for following along in a few days in my life studying here in Granada, Spain. Um, this experience has just been completely life-changing and it's had a really profound impact on me. And so if you have the opportunity to study abroad, I cannot recommend it enough. But I'm excited to head back to Holy Cross in the spring, but I am just so grateful for the opportunity that I had to come here, build some new friendships, build new, a new family here, um, and to have these really amazing experiences uh, throughout my college career.